What up, internet? Corinne here, and you're watching Corinne vs. the Galaxy. Yes, today I'm trying a project that's been suggested a gazillion times, the Galaxy Lollipop. Oh, hold on, let me fix it. <laughs> that should do it. Are you ready for blast off? Let's get started, shall we? This video, posted by 10 Minute Crafts, makes it look pretty easy. So I'm gonna follow their instructions and dive right in. The first thing we have to do is crush some Jolly Ranchers. Fuck yes. This is a major stress reliever right here. Actually, this is pretty damn hard. Some of these little suckers do not want to break. Oh, yes, a mallet. <laughs> This definitely works a lot better. This process alone took me more than 30 minutes. So you're a fucking lie, 10 Minute Crafts. A lie. Also, what the f are these things? This is not Jolly Rancher. And it seems pretty important for the final outcome because of the white. No mention of this candy anywhere. What is this candy? Ugh. Now I'm gonna have to go to the store and find some stuff that'll work. Yes, candy melts. That's the ticket. Okay, now we just separate our candies into little sections on this lollipop mold thing, but <laughs> they're all stuck together now. Yeah, I just have to chisel it out of here, I guess. All right, now separating the candies into the lollipop mold thingy and then adding some of the white candy melt pieces. Wait, does this go in the microwave or the oven? Rob said to try the microwave. Don't know why I'm listening to him, but we're gonna do it. Yeah, this doesn't really fit in here. The little spinny plate can't really spin. And only half of them are heating up, so that's a no. Great, now we know. That's why this show exists. Isn't it awesome? Okay, let's try the oven then. I think this is good. Maybe if I mix things around a little bit. Sure, okay. Yeah, I don't know. The candy melts seem a little curdly. I guess that could represent some star clusters. Yes, we have to let those cool and prepare our sugar mixture. Just adding sugar, water, and corn syrup. And now you're supposed to cook that until it reaches 300 degrees. And you know what? This takes a while. Once you reach gremlin birthing stage, you're getting pretty close. Actually, I don't know. This kind of looks pretty yellow, but little things like that wouldn't stop God, right? God, are you out there? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, now you have to pour your melted sugar solution into a measuring cup and then pour that into one side of a cake pop mold. Now we're supposed to sprinkle some edible glitter on top of there to create some cosmic stardust. Yeah, that's that star stuff. Maybe I'm God. <laughs> the power is in my hands. Then you're supposed to place your color piece good side down into the melty sugar substance. Now, if you're smart, you'll already know that this shit is really hot. And it's probably best that you don't try to touch it with your bare human flesh. F***ing dumb dumb. This shit burnt my finger and it hurts like a mofo. F***. <sighs> okay. Now we have to let this cool. Great. I guess they look okay. You know what? I still have faith. We just have to melt some Grape Jolly Ranchers in the cake pop mold, which is easy enough, and then add a lollipop stick to each one, like this, and place the other piece on top. This is a little bit of a messy process, so be patient. Um, okay, I think these are gonna work. But this, this is when the real magic is supposed to happen. Got my blow dryer, and here we go, the big reveal. Yeah, this is definitely not what I was expecting. I mean, I guess if you wanna keep things positive, it kinda looks like Mars, which is in a galaxy, I guess. <sighs> okay, um, we obviously need to try this again. And I'm thinking we need this candy right here. Actually, you know what? It kinda looks like one of those candy sticks that the Cracker Barrel sells. Okay, Cracker Barrel, here we come. First. Oh, they're here. Alright, I'm gonna leave now. Bye. Oh. <laughs> oh, here's me. Triggered. Mmm. This is the peacock section. Do you need anything from the peacock section? <laughs> There's no 
black and white ones, but I think these should work. Sour green apple. Look, big bag. Oh. Alrighty, here we go again. Luckily, I also got some of these peppermint because these ones are mostly whites and the sour apple ones are mostly green. And that is not what we were going for. Why you gotta let me down, sour apple? I thought we were friends. The only problem I foresee is that the lollipop is gonna taste like peppermint now, but honestly, that doesn't really matter to me because I don't plan on letting anyone eat any of these. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm just randomly adding all the different colors to my lollipop mold. And you know what? I'm feeling really good about this round. Into the oven we go. These are already looking better. Not all curdly and whatnot. Gonna give them a little mixing. And I think we got something here, kids. Now time to retry the sugar water corn syrup situation again. And I think this is also looking a lot better. Meanwhile, yeah, um, my measuring cup is currently occupied, so I'm just gonna use this other little vessel here. And yeah, sure. Now we pour this into our cake pop mold again and let it cool for a little bit. Now I'm just adding my cosmic stardust and my galaxy disc. And now we wait for like six days or something. Let it marinate. No, that sh didn't take billions of years. It only took six days and then we rest on the seventh. Yes. All right, we're just gonna pop these suckers right out of there. And I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. Not as yellow as the other ones, so that's a good sign. Now we melt the grape again. I <laughs> Add our lollipop sticks, which I was much more organized about this time. And then just stick our other half in there. I think my grape was a little too hot when I did it this time because things started spreading out a little more than they did previously. Also, this made it a lot more clear without the need of the blow dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this was intentional. They look pretty dang cool. I actually did hit them up with the blow dryer a little bit and this just brought them to a whole other level. It's honestly quite the process though, so you wanna be a little careful. Those people, they can shove their 10 minutes right up their ass, right down their black hole. No, too far? Okay. To keep it 100 with you, I would probably rethink some of the color combos if I were to ever do this again. But since I'm planning to never ever do this again, I think they look fucking great. I really like this one, but this one is my favorite. I mean, all of them are pretty cool and kind of out of this world. From this moment on, you can now refer to me as the Galaxy Queen. I'll also respond to Guardian of the Galaxies. Yes, here I am, your new Galaxy Queen. As the official Galaxy Queen, I control all of existence and am the knower of all things. For instance, here in this galaxy, there's a planet called Catdoor home to the giant fire-breathing cat dragons. There's not many a space traveler who have found their way here and lived to tell the tale. Except for Pete. Pete's a crazy mofo. And see this galaxy? This galaxy here actually contains the planet Earth. And you know Earth can be pretty cool, but there's some fucked up shit going on there right now. Actually, you know what? We're just gonna burn this shit to the ground and start all over again. Well, uh, I guess that's it for this video. Um, doesn't really matter if you subscribe or like it up, and I probably won't see you next time. Computer, set a course for Deep Space Nine. And computer, turn up the space jams.